let's just cut straight to the point holly um we've got our feedback from our first assignment it doesn't even count towards anything but i'm just worried and i'm scared because it was the first essay i'd wrote in a long time and it's being marked i didn't know whether to film it or not but here we are vlogging hmm. oh please find attached your feedback and mark for this assignment what did i get uh uh, one sec, I need to do a bit of digging here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't know whether to do this or not, but considering I filmed the majority of my life, why is my phone not on silent? I thought, why not? So basically I am doing a master's. If you didn't know, I'm at UCL. I'm doing a master's in cancer. And basically we have got our marks back from our first assignment. It didn't count though towards anything. So it wasn't like summative. So yeah, I just opened the email with my feedback and I've seen my mark. I basically just needed to get out the marking criteria to see where my mark kind of fell. So like 70 to 100% is the distinction and then 60 to 69 is a merit, pass 50 to 59, etc, etc. I've never seen a marking sheet so like official. It has like different marking criteria and then a percentage mark for each of those and then a weighting and then a weighted mark and then an overall mark and I'm just like whoa, whoa. I just want the overall mark. And then we also have written feedback. I'm not complaining, like it's detailed and I'm just like, well, that's good, that's useful, but I'm just not used to like some official thing. I don't know why I'm not happy. Like, I don't know why I don't sound very happy. Like I got a distinction. So I should be happy. Like Holly, why aren't I happy? I'm so, so hard on myself. I think I was just so worried because I'd taken a gap year before this and I hadn't written like an official essay in such a long time. And I was like, I'm gonna be a bit rusty and I'm just so, so worried. Different universities will mark things very differently and they will have different kind of criteria. And so I was just worried and apprehensive and I didn't really know what to expect at all. Um, I'm studying. Yeah, you're studying atmosphere, weather and climate. I got my feedback for my first assignment. It doesn't count towards anything. Oh, your masters, I thought, yeah. well, all right. Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah, so right. confused. Yes, yeah, and I got that. a distinction. Oh, that's really bad, isn't it? <laughs> uh, we're in the bathroom, so Matthew's shower cap is on display. So we're just gonna have to ignore that. It's also the next day because I'm no longer a banana or wearing my nana sweat. I'm an avocado today. I literally don't know why I waffled about yesterday for a good 15 minutes. Honestly, I just, I just don't know. I suppose like, I suppose I'm like, but then I'm like, I'm just like so hard on myself because I'm like, oh, Holly, you could have done better. Yeah, I won't Holly be happy with that. <sighs> I'm so hard to please. I'm just so hard on myself, like ridiculously hard on myself. If I don't suppress that kind of side of my brain or my self, my thoughts, it can literally swallow me alive. It's not good. Like I really have to work to suppress that side of me. I am happy. I should be happy with the feedback that I got. And I know yesterday it didn't really come across that way. So yeah, I just basically need to learn to give myself slack. You know, I don't give myself enough credit for what I do, I suppose. You know, like it's a full-time master's course. I also do YouTube pretty much full-time. I run Holly Gemia, my tutoring business. I set that up really recently. So I run a business. I have Nana and I do that with Emily. And there are so many other things in the background. So many things that you don't know anything about at all that goes on behind the scenes. Like I do so much stuff. My brain has to be in so many different places and I don't give myself enough credit for it. So yeah, I often forget that. I just like focus on this one like number, literally like one number. There are things that are so much more important than that. And yeah, I just fail to acknowledge it. So I'm here saying this to myself and this is serving as a reminder for you as well that you need to give yourself credit and say, you know, you did so well and you are doing so well with so many things in your life. Also, whenever I start kind of something new, especially in the academic world, I always go in with this mindset of, you know, Holly, you're gonna, you're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna like let your hair down, especially with my undergraduate. I came in with this mindset and I've tried to do it with my masters, but I fail every single time. I've never achieved this in my life. I always end up stressing and I always end up like this in this situation, like yesterday when I was getting frustrated. Subconsciously, I set 
myself a target or a standard i set the bar and meanwhile i'm almost like putting on a facade a show where i'm like you know it's all fine you know i'm just gonna go in and put in the effort but have fun at the same time i'm not gonna stress and i say this to myself but subconsciously and in the background i'm setting this bar what's worst of all is that i never know where i set that bar that bar is somewhere floating around whenever I get feedback and I get marks back for things because I don't know where my bar is set I can just change it and basically I always make it so that I am gonna feel bad afterwards like that is what I do and that is why it's so bad yeah I don't know that's just a whole other side to me and like I've spoken recently about things like this in my mental health chat our brains are so confusing and so complex and crazy I just don't I don't get myself like I seriously don't get myself basically there are three more things that I wanted to talk about Firstly, we were set this title, it was like an essay slash report thing. I wrote it, I made sure that I was answering the question, but I, in kind of hindsight, and also after I submitted this essay, I kind of was like, hmm, there were two ways in which I could have approached this question. There was like the approach that I took, and there was a different approach. I kind of approach it in a very conceptual way. I try and like conjure up my own models and hypotheses, and I try and draw on a lot of evidence, and then synthesize my own ideas and it still answered the question don't get me wrong but then afterwards after I submitted I was kind of like I could have approached it maybe in a bit more of a precise way I'm not really sure with a bit more like chemistry behind it sort of thing so like although I added detail like there was maybe a bit of detail that they wanted or the person marking it was looking for and this is why I was really worried and overthinking things because this occurred to me after I submitted it and I was like uh, maybe I should have done it in that way not that way but couldn't change it obviously. I love writing. At the end of school when I took my A-levels I had to choose between like sciences and like English or more arts humanities subjects which like did allow me to be a bit more creative with words and writing and I kind of take that approach. I really like to think conceptually and thinking kind of strange ways. So yeah there were kind of two approaches and I feel like with the feedback maybe I could have taken the other approach maybe that's what the marking person the marker was looking for but you know also related to that like writing essays and stuff is so subjective and this masters at a completely different institution is a whole other ball game things are done in very different ways things are marked in very different ways what I'm finding with UCL is everything is very very official so we had like this marking sheet as I said yesterday and I just need to adapt and get used to it and this was the first thing that I did for them I also think it felt like a big thing because it was my first essay that I wrote in a while and also at Cambridge I was writing essays all the time and just getting feedback that was more kind of casual it wasn't like so official and so with this because it was like our first assignment even though it didn't count I was just like really like fixated on this and it kind of blew it out of proportion because at the end of the day it's literally so insignificant this does not mean anything the final thing I had on my list to talk about was the word count so this was like a 1000 word word count and then we had 10% extra so I literally did write 1100 words because there was so much I wanted to say I did like so many drafts and I had to cut out quite a lot in the end because 1100 words is not actually that much but yeah I feel like I just need to get used to being really quite concise I really did have to do this for my dissertation and stuff but like at UCL everything has a word count whereas when I was writing essays in my undergraduate I could write as much as I wanted and it gave me so much scope to just say anything I wanted so yeah I just need to get used to different things and there's room for improvement which is a good thing and you know this is literally just the start of my one year master's course and I've already got a mark that I should be proud of and that I am proud of so yeah I think I've spoken enough about this I'm gonna put it to the side I've definitely reflected on feedback I think it's so important to do that so yeah i don't really know what this video was it was very spontaneous as i said because i didn't think i was gonna film my reaction but i ended up filming it and it will probably be on youtube if you're watching this i hope you may have been able to relate to some of what i said i hope it reminded you of some of the things that we need to remember academics are not everything numbers grades they're so insignificant at the end of the day i will speak to you very soon in another video i have lots of updates in general but also specifically about like online uni because we had some emails the other day and i'm just like really confused i don't even know what to think but anyways i will speak to you very soon in another video i hope you are safe and well wherever you are in lockdown not in lockdown bye